Today I'm going to show you how to make mind maps and flow charts in ChatGPT. Why would we even need that? Because it really helps to visualize things either for ourselves or if we want to show our research to another person. For example, having a flow chart that we can show a client. And for this, we can easily use ChatGPT and bring the whole research and idea finding to a whole new level. And we can easily do that with just one simple plugin. To use ChatGPT plugins, you have to have ChatGPT Plus, which costs 20 bucks a month, but it's really worth it. And if you have it, you just go up here, you select plugins, and then you search for the AI diagram. And if you don't see it directly, you just go to the plugin store and you will just Google diagrams and you will find it very, very fast because it should be the first result you find. Then the next thing we have to think about what do we even want to do and what do we want to visualize. For this we have to have a goal, we have to have some kind of context and we have to think about the person we want to visualize that thing for. So in my example I choose having automation ideas for a automation business for different kinds of niches. So it's basically idea finding which we could do with just a normal list but it's better to have it with some sort of like mind map because I'm more of a visual learner. So we have the idea, we give it the context, the objective, and also for who it is, it's for myself. So we use a tree diagram or a mind map. Then we run it. It will first do the typical GDP thing, which is finding of ideas. And then we will make the diagram. If you want to see how the diagram works or like in general plugins, it's very interesting. You can just click on there and you see it just creates a JSON file where it adds the different kinds of branches in a markdown. And it then will send these things via an API to a Whimsical where it then is being created. And the benefit with this plugin is we don't only get the picture in ChatGPT, but we also get a link we can click on and then we can modify the diagram on the website of Whimsical. So we now here have our business ideas. We have, for example, home automation, office automation, and in there also auto document management, which is a good way of finding ideas and visualizing it better. And now if we just click on this link, we can go on Whimsical and here you can then also modify it instantly. So you can like change what you see, write different things, add new parts about it, which makes this very, very practical. Because before you could do the same thing basically with um, ChatGPT Plus, because it would just create um, pictures with Matplotlib, but this way we can actually also change them because they have a good format. So now the next thing would be, we would now want to show this in a flowchart for example, a client. So we use healthcare automation and then we have pain and appointment scheduling. This, I also have a prompt ready for you with the objective of using healthcare automation and patient appointment scheduling and making a flowchart that we can then show a client in a pitch meeting where he then can understand what we are trying to do and he gets an idea and doesn't have to read the whole list because people really like visuals. So we then again create it. You make the diagram, it puts the data in the JSON file. And if you want to make something similar like this, you can, and I'm going to make a specialized video about where I'm going to show you how to build something. And then you put the JSON file in the API, ChatGPT sent it to the API, it creates the chart with whimsically, and it's going to be sent back. And here we see our flowchart, which is already really, really good. And now the great thing about it, we can also use this to modify not just the chart in Whimsical, but also directly in ChatGPT. It's very flexible and easy to use. So we just now make a prompt where we just change urgency. So we have different kinds of urgencies in our flowchart and it will adjust it accordingly. So we have the start point with the requests, the AI system analyzes the patient data, and then we have different kinds of urgencies. And when you show this to a client, they will love it because they have basically a perfect overview of what you're doing with different kinds of branching. And for this, this plugin is perfect.
And if you found this interesting, leave a like and also say what are you using it for.